What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas and today's video is going to be another pickups video. I haven't done one of these since like April so I have picked up quite a few things. I'm recording this on May 30th so this is everything I bought from April and May combined. So I do have quite a few items that have been piling up. I'm going to start out with shoes first and then work my way up into pants and shorts and then tops as well. So first off we have these Alix sneaker boots. This silhouette was originally the RA hiking boot. Obviously Matthew Williams did his own thing on these. I really love these boots because you can wear them with pants or shorts. I think they're very wearable. Obviously, this colorway isn't the most wearable because they do have the snake skin. No, it's not real snake skin. It has this like really soft white material. I don't even know what this material is, but the tongues are made out of suede. It has a very unique lacing system. It kind of like weaves in and out. They just feel very high quality. The sole is a Vibram sole. You know, it's going to hold up super grippy and kind of made for hiking. Um, I actually did go hiking in these one time. I tried them out. They come with this hiking sole that wraps around shoes. I put it on my Air Forces. I don't know. I just got bored one day and I haven't taken it off yet, but it looks kind of cool. Yeah, overall, really happy with this pickup. I've been wearing these a ton. They're actually really comfortable. I expected them to be kind of stiff when I first got them, but it's like a running shoe and a boot combined. This next shoe is a Supreme Nike Gato, I think they're called. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Gato. I'm not 100% on that, so correct me if I'm wrong. But the silhouette reminds me of kind of a Margiela Gat. It has this like really cool leather pattern on the toe box. It kind of reminds me of an indoor soccer shoe as well. They're really lightweight, really comfy. Overall, a pretty good summer shoe. They have a couple cool details. The shoe is mainly all red, and then it just has this like green underlay right here. It's like a neon green, which you can't even tell. It looks like a gold color from the distance, but the back just says world famous, which is like Supreme's motto. I might sell them soon because I haven't been wearing them a ton, and they are a little bit small on me, but overall, I like the silhouette, and it's a cool shoe. Moving on to pants, I have this pair of Levi's. 550s. My friend this year got these at a thrift store and they didn't fit them so he just sold them to me and we kind of did a little project on them. Pretty much took paint and splattered it all over and uh, they came out like this. He did this side which is like a more subtle paint and then my side is obviously more splotchy. Also we kind of like distressed the pocket a little bit did a few details and then we just completely blew the knees out which I think is a pretty cool look. The back pocket small details on there as well. Posted a picture in these recently that I really like. And uh, yeah, these are like five bucks at the thrift store. So this just shows you, you can take a pair of really cheap pants and make them into something pretty unique. Next, I have these black nylon cargo shorts from a company called Elwood. Not really familiar with the brand, but I saw these on their website and they were like 30 bucks. I ended up getting the black colorway and then this like brown gray, greenish colorway. I don't even know what color these are, but I got these like last summer. They don't sell them anymore, unfortunately. Really, really cheap alternative to like a Rick short. Quality is pretty bad, but I just wear these a ton. You can swim in these. They're very wearable. I wear them like multiple times a week. If you want to go for something with this look, you can get some Nike ACG shorts or like type in nylon shorts and you should be able to find quite a few. Moving on to tops, I have this camouflage vintage tee. It's like my dad's or my uncle's, but I found it at my grandparents' house. House. And I normally just wear it like this, which is inside out, because I don't really like how vivid the camo is on this side. I kind of like the faded out look. It is single stitch. That's kind of what caught my eye. I saw the T and I was like, whoa, this has got to be pretty old. I normally don't wear this by itself. I would just layer this underneath a jacket or something. This is really random, but I just like it. So next is this white vintage tee from 1990. I got this on Grailed a couple weeks ago. It fits me kind of small, but it just has this really cool black and white graphic of the Flatiron Building in New York. The only thing I don't like is that it says streets of New York on the back. I wish it was just blank. I mean, that's kind of nitpicky, but this is just an iconic building and it looks really cool. It's kind of faded out and has that vintage look to it. Nonetheless, a really good t-shirt. The next t-shirt we have is this Colette Hyatt in the Pines t-shirt. It's this really bright yellow color. I don't have many yellow items, so I decided to pick this up. I was trying to decide between this one and like the cream white color one, but I already have enough white tees. So I just went with this. I got a size medium and I'm five foot nine for reference and it fits me kind of boxy and oversized. I just really love this graphic. I'm pretty sure he took inspiration from like a vintage tee he had. It was very similar to this. It just says in the pines and it has like this western themed imagery with like two horses and cowboys. And it says 78 on the bottom. The quality on this t-shirt is really really good. It's super soft. The really thick material it does not feel cheap at all. And then I'm not even sure what kind of stitching this is but it just has like one big stitch on the sleeves and it's the same way on the bottom hem. 
I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I thought the stitching was a really cool small detail, but this is definitely a great tee for this summer and I'll be wearing it quite a bit. Next up is another yellow item from a brand called Bare Knuckles. You guys are probably familiar with this brand. It's owned by Jacob Keller and then also Cole McBride. They dropped this hoodie alongside a t-shirt two or three weeks ago. I really was a fan of this graphic and also the color. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it kind of starts out lighter and then fades down to a darker yellow. It says Bare Knuckles and it has a guy dribbling a basketball into a state tournament 2020 on it. I didn't really buy this hoodie for the graphic. I bought it for the color and then also the fit. It's really boxy. It's really wide fitting. The description on his website said to go with your true to size if you wanted it to fit regular and then it's obviously size up if you wanted to bag your fit. So I ended up going with a large and I'm pretty happy with the fit. One random thing I like about this hoodie is the fact that it doesn't have drawstrings. I think it's a really clean look when the hood just kind of like crosses over like this. It's made out of a terry fabric so it's not too thick. It's not like a heavy fleece hoodie. It's like the perfect weight hoodie. It's not too thin, not too thick. This last piece really isn't a summer pickup. It's this Matthew Williams Nike jacket. If you guys don't know who Matthew Williams is, he started the leaks, which is becoming pretty popular now. Just a Nike fleece jacket with this camo pattern all over that I really like. I know they did a pair of shorts, t-shirt, a vest. They released a bunch of stuff with Matthew Williams, but I really like this jacket and I got it for a really good price, so can't complain. I'll have some B-roll footage on screen, but you can see that this, this nylon top part of the jacket can strap on and off depending on if it's raining outside or what the weather's like. It has buckles on it that say MMW and has a Nike swoosh. So you pretty much just pull these buckles underneath your arms and then strap it on and then you can take it off. It's very easy to take on and off. But this is just a super functional piece. It has an asymmetric zipper that runs from the neck all the way to the bottom. The reason they did that is so that you could still have like a hoodie pocket in the bottom. I don't know how well you guys can see the pockets because they kind of blend in. There's like a phone pocket right here. There's another pocket right here there's pockets all over it then the back just has this vent i guess so you don't get too hot but i tried wearing this some this spring and it's just been too hot so i'm definitely selling this if you're interested in buying this just dm me on instagram i'll hit you back and we can talk about a price but yeah if it was like fall fall winter i would probably keep this it's a really really good jacket i'm probably gonna sell this and buy something that I can actually wear this summer. Also, last item I forgot to show you was this tee I picked up in the last video. Me and my friends did a grilled outfit challenge, so if you've seen that video, then you know, but I got this tee for like 13 bucks on grilled. Super cheap for the outfit challenge. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. I'm probably gonna have a part two to this video because I didn't show everything. I have a few different items that I didn't show. Drop any video ideas in the comments down below. Drop a like, subscribe, all that. You know the drill. Hope you all have a great day and thank you for watching. Peace.